Undefeated Bantamweight fighter Naoya Inoue, nicknamed Monster, is one of the most unique fighters of the present time. Despite the fact that he fights in Bantamweight division, Inoue is known for his incredible punching power, which he successfully combines with ideal timing and amazing speed and wins his opponents by spectacular knockouts. Since his professional debut in 2012, he has already become a three weight divisions world champion and now he ranks second in pound for pound rankings. In this video, we will remember the fights in which this incredible fighter has demonstrated his amazing power. In his professional debut, Naoe Inoue, who was only 19, fought against Filipino Crescent Omeo. Already in the middle of the first round, Inoue knocked down the Filipino by a right hand to the body. After that, the Japanese fighter continued to dominate the fight and finally knocked out his opponent by a brutal left hook to the body in the fourth round. Inoue's next opponent was Boonam Thamakun, a fighter from Thailand. The fight started at a high pace and had a quick finish. In the middle of the first round, Thamakun attempted to hold a combination of punches, but Naoya blasted in response with a perfect left hook that put the Thai boxer flat on his back on the canvas. He got up at the nine count, but was unable to continue. <laughs> In his third fight, Naoya Inoue fought against his compatriot Yuki Sano. Already in the second round, Inoue knocked down his opponent by a big left hook. Sano was able to get up and managed to recover. In the fourth round, Yuki Sano was knocked down again after being hurt by a quick combination of punches from the monster. After that, Sanu got up, but Inoue was unable to finish him, and the fight continued for almost all scheduled time, but in the last 10th round, Sanu started to get too many powerful punches, and the referee waved off the fight. One fight after defeating Yuki Sano, Naoya Inoue faced Filipino Jerson Mancio. From the very beginning, the Japanese fighter made a much better impression than his opponent, and at the end of the second round, after several accurate punches, Mancio was knocked down. He got up at the count of eight, and Inoue was short of time to finish his opponent. In the next rounds, the advantage of Japanese fighter increased, and in the end of the fifth round, referees stopped the fight. In April 2014, Inoue faced against WBC World Light Flyweight Champion Adrian Hernandez. 
In this fight, Naoya was faster and more accurate than his more experienced opponent, who tried to respond to attacks of young Japanese and even sometimes successfully landed his punches. However, in the following rounds, Hernandez received more and more powerful punches, and in the end of the sixth round, he was sent to the canvas by a quick combination of punches from the monster. He got up but was unable to continue to fight. That way, Naoya Inoue became the World Light Flyweight Champion in his sixth professional fight. The monster held his first title defense against Winawa's Basapian, challenger from Thailand. It was a very spectacular fight. Both fighters were throwing a lot of punches, but Inoue was more accurate, and in the fourth round, after quick combination from Japanese fighter Basapian, was knocked down. <laughs> After the challenger got up, fight continued at the same high pace, and after several rounds, Inoue knocked down his opponent for the second time. The tie got up, but the Japanese fighter increased his advantage, and in the 11th round, after another successful attack from the monster, the fight was stopped. <laughs> Naoya Inoue entered the title fight again, three months after successfully defending the title, but now as a challenger. The Japanese fighter climbed two weight divisions and challenged WBO World Super Flyweight Champion Omar Narvaez. From the very beginning, Inoue dominated the fight, and within 30 seconds of the first round, he knocked down the Argentinian boxer. He got up and continued the fight, but 20 seconds later, Naoya knocked down Narvaez for the second time. The Argentinian boxer managed to get up again and was able to stand the fight until the bell, but the second round turned the final for him. In the middle of the round, Narvaez tried to begin his attack, and Inoue caught him with an accurate left hook. After the Argentinian got up for the third time, the monster put him down again with a powerful left to the body, and Narvaez simply didn't want to get up. So Naoya Inoue became the world champion in another weight division. In his next fight, Inoue defended his recently won title against challenger Warlito Parenas. After very calm first round, in the second round, Naoya Inoue increased the pace of fight and knocked down the challenger by a quick combination. Morenas managed to get up, but a few seconds later, he was dropped to the canvas again, and the fight was finished. <laughs> After one fight, Naoya Inoue entered the ring against challenger from Thailand, Karun Jaripianlerd. This fight was difficult for Inoue, 
During the nine rounds, the tie was decently resisting the champion, answering blows to blows. However, in the end of the tenth round, the Japanese unleashed a flurry of powerful punches, sending his opponent to the canvas, and the latter was unable to get up to continue the fight. Kohei Kono, Inoue's compatriot, became the next defeated victim of the monster. In the first few rounds, Kono tried to resist the champion. But further, Naoya started increasing his advantage over the opponent, and in the beginning of the sixth round, he knocked down the challenger by an accurate left hook. Kono barely managed to get up, but in the next attack, Inoue knocked out his opponent. His winning series of knockouts, Naoya Inoue successfully continued in the fight against an American boxer, Ricardo Rodriguez. The three rounds of this fight were enough for Inoue to knock out his opponent. First, Inoue caught Rodriguez with accurate left hook and he fell to the canvas. The American boxer was able to continue the fight, and soon Naoya Inoue knocked out Rodriguez again by a powerful left hook. In his last fight in the super flyweight division, Inoue faced a French fighter, Yon Boyo, and again the first three rounds turned out to be enough for the Japanese boxer to destroy the opponent. In the end of the first round, Naoya knocked down his opponent by a powerful left hook. Boyo was able to get up and was saved by the bell. In the third round, Inoue knocked down the French fighter twice by a left to the body. After Boyo got up for the third time, the monster knocked him out with powerful body punches. His next fight, Naoya Inoue held in a new weight division challenging WBA World Bantamweight Champion Jamie McDonnell. Already in the middle of the first round, the Briton was knocked down. McDonnell got up. In the next attack, Inoue knocked him out with a powerful combination and became world champion in third weight division. After defeating McDonnell, Inoue participated in the World Boxing Super Series, and in the quarterfinal, he faced former world champion Juan Carlos Payano. 
The fight started at a slow pace, but within a minute after the start of the first round, Naoya Inoue blasted Payano with a lightning-fast combination of punches, sending the opponent to a full knockout. Majority decision against the Russian <laughs> oh, In the semi-final, the Japanese fighter entered the ring to fight against undefeated IBF world champion Emmanuel Rodriguez. After an equal first round, Naoya Inoue simply destroyed Rodriguez in the second round, sending the latter to the canvas three times during 40 seconds. It was short, it was sharp, and it was heavy. And he's trying to get those legs moving underneath him, but he just did not see that coming at all. Just as I was saying, he was getting caught cool with the left hand because he carries that right a bit low. Left to the body, down goes Rodriguez. He looks at the corner and he shakes his head and he's not going to make it. And he's not enjoying this, but he's gone back to his feet. He's going to continue, but he's on borrowed time. There's still two minutes left in the round. Down he goes again, and I'm sure that that is going to be that. He's down for a third time within the space of seconds, really. Again, a little shake of the head. He gets back up, and the referee waves it over. And that is devastating once again from Noya Inoue. Thus, Inoue added the IBF belt to his collection and advanced to the final of the World Boxing Super Series, in which he defeated Filipino star Nonito Donaire by unanimous decision and became the winner of the Muhammad Ali Trophy. After his victory in the final of the World Boxing Super Series, Naoya Inoue faced the challenger from Australia, Jason Maloney. From the start of the first round, the Japanese fighter looked better than his opponent, who moved a lot, but was defending more than attacking. Closer to the middle of the fight, Maloney started to slow down, and in the sixth round, Inoue knocked down his opponent by an accurate left hook. If you can hear the thoughts, that... Oh! Shot right. Down goes Maloney on a quick counter. Maloney was able to get up and managed to recover, but not for a long time. In the end of the seventh round, Naoya Inoue sent the Australian to the canvas by straight right, and the fight was finished. And round seven. Oh, the big right hand from Naoya Inoue! And Maloney is down and hurt. Five, six, seven, eight. It's over. It is over. The next opponent of the Japanese champion was Filipino Michael Das Marinas. From the first seconds, Inoue totally controlled the fight, and already in the middle of the second round, Das Marinas was knocked down. He got up and was able to hold out until the bell. In the middle of the third round, Naoya sent the Filipino to the canvas for the second time with a powerful body punch. Three punch combination, goes back to it again. Oh, big time shot to the body by Inoue. Das Marinas got up again, but 10 seconds later, the monster knocked out his opponent with another powerful body punch. Uppercut, body shot again. My oh my, three body shot knockdowns and a knockout victory for the great Naoya Inoue. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.